Maybe I did okay? Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that that was even a goal. Somehow, some way, it is April and it's time for another monthly reset. A monthly reset is where I invite you guys in to share what worked for me last month, what didn't work for me last month, and what my goals are for the month ahead. So sit back, buckle up, because we are going to get into it right now. I can't decide what is the best order to do all of these things in. So I think actually, unlike last month, I'm going to start with my March goals and how I did. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm not entirely sure I did all that well this month. Not gonna lie. Okay. So let's look back on my March, shall we? If you want the whole rundown of what my goals for March were, head over to my March reset because all the details will be laid out there for you. But we're just gonna do a quick little breeze through. Did I do it? Did I not do it? How did I do? My first goal was to have a month of 80% consistency and I'm just gonna flat out say, I don't think I did 80% of consistency. I might've done 60% consistency, but there's no way I got to 80 and I'm not even trying to do the math. I did track my food almost every day though. So there's that. Launch spring group coaching. Okay, I didn't check it off, but I did in fact do that. I did one of the things, hooray. Write two blog posts. Eh, nope, zero. Make plans with friends. Yes, did I? Kind of, kind of. So I actually have plans with people upcoming, which is great. And I saw friends a couple of times at church. I've done a couple of things, but the people that were in my mind when I wrote that goal down, I did not actually make plans with, but I didn't specify who I was supposed to make plans with. So our social life has been kind of sort of picking up. So we're just, we're just gonna call it a win. Read know my name. I didn't, I am so bad, so, 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 so bad at actually reading through the book club books for the Sharon Says So book club this time around. I don't know what it is. I'm in the middle of the book and there are like four other books that I'm also in the middle of, which we'll get to later, but I have not finished the book. The author meet was yesterday and I still have not finished the book. I'm only about 40% of the way through it. Finish Lazy Genius Kitchen. Again, nope, didn't finish that book either. I read more of it, but I'm nowhere close to finishing it. Reach out to my friend about choir. I did do that. Good job, me. And I also took action on the information I got about the choir. So bonus points. Plan a date night out. I did not get my turn to plan a date night out because the weekend that I was supposed to plan date night, my husband decided to be sick so we couldn't go anywhere or do anything. So it's entirely his fault that I didn't get this goal done, right? To be fair, I am planning date night this weekend. My weekly action items, which I completely and honestly forgot about one of them. My weekly action items, how did I do? Follow a work schedule. I didn't do that at all. No, I don't know why I write it down. I don't, I'm, uh, baby steps, baby steps. Email newsletters. I haven't been checking the boxes, but I'm pretty sure I got at least three of the four weeks and I know because I sent one today. So I, I think I might've done it. I might've done it, but I haven't been keeping track. Shame on me. Publish two videos. I think I did that. I missed one video last week, but I think I did that 80% of the way. So good job me. 24 hours phone free a week. I didn't track any of it. I didn't track any of it. And I can almost guarantee you, I did not meet that goal. I, I did not meet that goal. Um, meal plan and prep, that I did, and I did that beautifully. Daily action items, lift more. I didn't get to start lift more, the new Beachbody program, when I actually wanted to. So that whole thing ended up delayed an entire week. But since I have been doing it, I have been doing it, so that's good. Meet my macros and calories. I, I would say I'm at about 60, 65%. And given the fact that I can still net the month with a loss, I'm gonna take that as a win. Bible study, I have been doing that every morning and that feels real good. Use the Passionate Penny Pincher Planner. Nope, it's sitting on a bookshelf downstairs, easily accessible at the ready for me to use it and I barely pick it up. I barely pick it up. I'm slowly learning that I might be moving out of my paper planner phase, which is really weirding me out, but I have been doing a lot more digital stuff and keeping track of things on my phone, on my computer, and a lot less of the paper stuff. Okay, so those were my goals for the month of March. I did, I guess I did okay. I guess I did okay. So now let's look at that little reset template that I've been using in Notion last month to just share a little bit of stuff that's not necessarily goal specific, but more of a reflection on the month. I'll be honest with you, it's probably not going to be all that exciting either, but for what did I accomplish? I got back on stage at church, yay, finally. I've been off stage for months due to travel and everything, so I finally got the opportunity to lead worship again in church, and that was just 
glorious. Launching group coaching, I did that. The door is actually closed the day that I'm filming this video. And so on Monday, the day you're seeing this video actually is day one of spring group coaching. And then reorganizing the kitchen. It's not perfect yet, but we've made some huge strides in that and it's looking really good. It's feeling really good, becoming a lot more functional and easy to use and a little bit less cluttered as well, which I'm really loving. What challenged me this month? The only thing I could really think of other than, you know, my own limiting beliefs and all that stuff that we all fight with, right? Was my husband's sickness. Because when my husband gets sick, it's not just for like a couple of days, it's for like a week and a half. And it was just a cold. We tested him for COVID multiple times just to make sure, but it just, it just messes with everything, right? Because then we stayed separate because I didn't want to catch it because I still wanted to sing at church and all, it's a whole thing. That was definitely my challenge of the month. Self-care last month included being willing to give myself more sleep in sacrificing um, like an earlier morning, uh, especially when I'm trying to make sure I don't get sick. Sleep is so essential. I mean, it's essential for everything every day, but it's even more essential when you really don't wanna catch something. <laughs> And then being willing to skip or reschedule my workouts. I had a couple of days where I just, I wasn't feeling hot and I was just like, I can't lift today. Or, and there've been a couple of days where I've actually either worked out on the weekends or done a double header so I can work in an extra rest day and things like that. And then switch the schedule around to accommodate what I need the overarching schedule of the week to be. And I'm really proud that I did that. Notables from last month, like travel, books, products, whatever. Um, if you wanna see products, I actually just recently uploaded a favorites and fails video. All of the products that I could possibly talk about are in that video. So go check that out for all the product stuff for the month. But the only thing really notable is this book that you're probably already tired of hearing about called The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. I'm in the middle of it right now, so I'm not even gonna be able to give like the full synopsis, but I'm loving it so far. I cannot wait to see what's left in it. I feel called out, I feel inspired, I feel motivated, and it's just, it's a really great book. Once I finish it, I will do a deeper dive and tell you guys more about what I learned in that book and how I'm implementing it, but I gotta finish it first. And that's really it for the little bit of like notables from last month. So now let's dive into my goals for the month of April. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because my next video is actually going to be all about my quarterly goals refresh. And that's going to be relevant to the information in this video as well, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, that's going to be relevant. It should be, it absolutely should be. I just couldn't remember. So stay tuned for that video coming out soon. But for now, we're just gonna walk through the specifics for the month of April. So we have, as per usual, monthly action items, weekly action items, and daily action items. And you may notice that there's no color on this sheet. It's just black and white and no stickers. And some months are just like that. Starting with my monthly action items, the first one is to lean into simplicity and slowing. The reason I worded it like that is because those are two of the four disciplines that I'm learning about in the aforementioned The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry book, but because I haven't read those sections yet, I don't know specifically what they're talking about, so I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to implement, so I just wrote it down because I am, I'm truly convicted to embrace the teachings of this book, so it's there as a goal. I just don't know what that looks like yet. My next goal is to take a walk with no headphones on. This is also stemming from that book. You're gonna sense a theme here in a minute. But one of the things that it talks about is our need for silence and solitude. And I feel like one really easy way to implement that, especially as the weather starts to warm up and maybe possibly I will be able to get outside this month. But I'm sure most of us, when we go for walks, we've got headphones in our ears, we've got music playing, news on, podcasts running, whatever the case may be. And so even though we're like out in nature and everything and that's wonderful we're not sitting in silence and so I was like how cool would it be to actually take an intentional like silence and solitude walk outside and so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm going to do at least one walk with no headphones with me I want to watch a musical this month it doesn't have to be in a theater it can be at home on my couch but you'll hear about it in my quarterly goals refresh I want to get more immersed in what I know and I love and that's musical theater and even if it's watching Hamilton again for like the sixth or seventh time it's been a minute so it's time to watch Hamilton again I just want to get into that headspace and that emotional space because I love theater and just experiencing it and watching other people do it is just a joyful and wonderful thing in and of itself for me and it really feeds a part of my soul that nothing else feeds. Plan one date night. That is once again one of my goals for the month. 
Continue tracking and moving, activity, exercise, etc. while in Florida. My husband's grandfather's funeral is this month, so we are going to take a quick trip down to Florida, and my goal is to stay on track while I'm there. Not perfectly, I'm not expecting it to go perfectly, especially on the days where there's family events and the actual funeral and the actual burial and all of those things, but I can do my best and I'm actually focused and, and being very intentional about doing my best while I'm there. And then my other goal is to finish my half-read books. I'm pretty sure I have at least three of them that are half-read, they've been started and not completed. So my goal this month, instead of picking up a new book, is to finish the ones I'm already in the middle of. My weekly action items. Number one is to take a Sabbath day, a day of rest. This is another thing that is focused on in the book, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And I haven't read that chapter yet, but I know the concept of a Sabbath day. It's actually a goal that has appeared on my power sheets time and time again as an intentional way to take a day off over the weekend, no work, intentional rest, things of that nature. So I've done it before, but I'm putting it on here knowing that I have more information on the Sabbath coming to me once I read that chapter and might have new inspired ways of implementing it. Who the heck even knows, but a Sabbath day every week, super important. Have a mostly Mediterranean diet meal plan. Again, I talk a little bit more about this in the quarterly goals refresh that is up and coming, but if you've heard of the Mediterranean diet, you kind of know what I'm talking about. And my meal plans, the goal for at least while we're at home is going to be to lean into the Mediterranean diet way of eating more than we have in the past. And then for a simple YouTube goal, I have upload two videos a week, which is what I'm supposed to be doing, but I've been wildly inconsistent about it. So this month's goal is strictly consistency in my uploads. And then my daily action items are quick and easy and very predictable. One, quiet time which is separate from number two, Bible study time. Quiet time, an emphasis of just sitting and being in the quiet. And I can use that time to pray, I can use that time to rest, I can use that time to sit and just be, but it has to be quiet time. And then like I said, I've got, I wanna do a Bible study. I will finish up my Lenten Bible study and then get to start a new one, but I have all these Bible studies right here. So <laughs> I have plenty to choose from. Tracking my food, reading a book, and my last one is getting up at my alarm. I have been really good lately about letting my alarm go off and then like turning it off and rolling over and falling asleep for another 20 to 30 minutes. And even if I like, I'm allowed to set my alarm for whenever I want. I never have anywhere to go in the morning. The alarm is just to make sure I don't sleep in until 8, 30, 9 o'clock. But if I set an alarm, I should, I should have the discipline to get up when the alarm goes off. So regardless of what time I set it for, I need to get out of bed when the alarm goes off. Simple right? It's simple, but it's not so easy. Those are my goals for the month of April. I am so excited to get started. I'm so excited for April because by the end of April, in theory, we'll be into the spring season, the warmer weather, the sunshine, not freezing our butts off every time we go outside and not risking the snow. And as I say this, just to be clear, we're in the middle of a blizzard warning. So there's that. But I'm just really excited because springtime going into summertime is when I start to flourish and really come out of my shell and become like the truest and most joyful version of who I am. I am and I'm so ready for that girl to show up. So I am pumped for April. April's gonna be a good month. In the comments below, let me know what some of your goals for the month of April are. And if you wanna join the Deep in the Divine community, you know where that little red subscribe button is. Thanks for watching, take care, I'll see you next time. Bye.